The Titans of Battletech. Welcome to Redneck's first mech talk. Today, we're diving into the world of super heavy mechs, the titans that dominate the battlefield. These behemoths push the limits of mech design and engineering, and their presence in the Battletech universe is simply awe-inspiring. So without further ado, let's jump in and explore the fascinating world of super heavy mechs. To begin, let's talk about the history and background of super heavy mechs. The concept of a super heavy mech goes as far back as the Star League era, which spanned from 2571 to 2780. During this time there were several attempts at developing these massive machines, but due to various factors, such as technological limitations and cost, they never made it into widespread use. It wasn't until the late 3060s, during the word of Blake Jihad, that the first operational super heavy mech was produced. The Word of Blake, a fanatical splinter group of Comstar, used their technological advancements to create the Ares, a 135-ton super-heavy mech. This marked the beginning of a new era for super-heavy mechs. In Battletech, super-heavy mechs are defined as those weighing more than 100 tons. These mechs push the limits of technology and engineering, often featuring advanced weaponry, strong armor, and sometimes even limited flight capabilities. Despite their advantages, super heavy mechs have their drawbacks, such as being expensive to manufacture and maintain, and often requiring specialized support and logistical infrastructure. Now, let's take a look at some of the most notable super heavy mechs in Battletech history. The Poseidon is a fan made 135 ton super heavy battle mech that has appeared in various fan designs and unofficial sourcebooks. While not part of the official Battletech canon, the Poseidon is a prime example of the potential for extreme firepower and survivability that can be achieved with super heavy mechs. The Poseidon's primary purpose is to provide overwhelming firepower on the battlefield, and its vast array of weaponry reflects this. Its main armament consists of two heavy Gauss rifles, delivering devastating ballistic damage at both long and medium ranges. In addition the mech is equipped with two ERPPCs and two MML9s with Artemis IV FCS, allowing it to deal both energy and missile damage at various ranges. For close-range combat, the Poseidon features four ER medium lasers and a pair of Streak SRM-6 launchers. In terms of survivability, the Poseidon is built with heavy armor, ensuring it can endure a significant amount of enemy fire. Additionally, the mech is designed with Case 2 technology, which helps mitigate damage from ammunition explosions and protect its internal structure. However, as with the Ares, the Poseidon suffers from the drawbacks inherent in super heavy mechs. Its large size and considerable weight make it slow and less maneuverable than lighter battle mechs, leaving it at risk of being outflanked or swarmed by faster units. To counter this, the Poseidon relies on its potent mix of weapons to deter potential attackers and keep enemies at bay. The Ares Super Heavy Battle Mech is a 135-ton behemoth that first appeared in the Battletech universe during the Word of Blake Jihad. Designed to spearhead assaults and intimidate opponents, the Ares is an awe-inspiring symbol of power and destruction. At its core, the Ares is designed for a combination of extreme firepower and survivability. Its heavily armored chassis is built to withstand even the fiercest onslaughts, making it an ideal choice for frontline engagements where enemy fire will be at its most intense. The primary weaponry of the Ares is focused on ranged engagements, providing it with the ability to soften up targets and support its allies from a distance. Its main armament includes a Gauss rifle and an LRM-20, allowing it to accurately engage targets at long range. For medium-range engagements, the Ares is equipped with a trio of ER large lasers, capable of delivering powerful energy blasts. Finally, the mech features two Streak SRM-6 launchers for close-range skirmishes, providing it with an additional punch when enemies close in. One notable feature of the Ares is its triple-strength myomer technology, which when activated, increases the mech's movement speed and melee capabilities. This added agility can prove crucial in closing the gap between the Ares and its enemies, allowing it to bring its formidable arsenal to bear more effectively. Despite its immense power and durability, the Ares is not without its weaknesses. Its sheer size and weight make it a slow and ponderous mech, leaving it vulnerable to swifter and more agile enemies. Additionally, the mech's heavy reliance on long-range weaponry can be a double-edged sword, as it may struggle to fend off enemies that manage to close the distance. The Omega is a 150-ton super-heavy battle mech introduced in Solaris 7, the Game World box set. As a part of the Solaris 7 game world within the Battletech universe, the Omega is considered semi-canon. 
The mech is designed to be a centerpiece of Solaris VII's gladiatorial battles, where its immense size and firepower are sure to draw attention and awe from spectators. The Omega's armament is focused on providing a balanced mix of firepower at all ranges. It is equipped with a pair of heavy Gauss rifles, offering potent long-range capabilities. The mech also sports two LB-10XACs for additional ballistic damage at medium ranges, supplemented by a trio of ER medium lasers and four Streak SRM-4 launchers. For devastating short-range engagements, the Omega has quad SRM-6 launchers and a small laser. With such a comprehensive arsenal, the Omega is a force to be reckoned with at any distance, allowing it to adapt to various combat scenarios. Moreover, the Omega is equipped with jump jets, an uncommon feature for super-heavy mechs, providing it with additional mobility on the battlefield, albeit limited due to its massive weight. In terms of survivability, the Omega doesn't skimp on armor, boasting a robust shell capable of withstanding severe punishment. This, coupled with its comprehensive weapon loadout, ensures that the Omega can stay in the fight for an extended period, dealing punishing amounts of damage. As with all super-heavy mechs, the Omega suffers from some limitations. Its size and mass render it slower than many other battle mechs, making it a sizable target on the battlefield. Moreover, the wide variety of its arsenal requires the mech warrior piloting the Omega to effectively manage its weapon systems and heat levels, particularly in prolonged engagements. In some, the Omega, like the Ares and Poseidon, epitomizes the raw power and commanding presence of super heavy mechs on the battlefield. Despite its drawbacks, the Omega stands as a testament to the potential for extreme firepower and durability inherent in these massive machines. Each of these three mechs, with their unique configurations and roles, adds depth and variety to the vast universe of Battletech, highlighting the versatility of mech design and the strategic possibilities they present. Now that we've explored some of the most notable Super Heavy mechs, let's talk about their role and tactics on the battlefield. Super Heavy mechs are typically used as the centerpiece of a force, providing significant firepower and armor to the battle. They're often used to anchor a defensive line, break through enemy defenses, or provide long-range fire support. Due to their size and weight, Super Heavy mechs tend to be slower and less maneuverable than their lighter counterparts. This makes them vulnerable to being outmaneuvered or swarmed by faster, more agile units. As a result, it's essential to support Super Heavy mechs with other units to protect their flanks and rear. Despite their drawbacks, Super Heavy mechs can be game-changers on the battlefield. Their sheer firepower and armor make them difficult to take down, and they can often turn the tide of battle in their favor. However, it's crucial to use them wisely and ensure they're adequately supported by other units. As we look towards the future of Battletech, it's interesting to consider the potential developments and advancements in Super Heavy Mech technology. With the constant drive to push the limits of mech engineering, we could see even more powerful and advanced Super Heavy Mechs entering the battlefield. Some potential advancements could include improved armor, more powerful and efficient engines, advanced targeting and communication systems, and even more devastating weaponry. These technological leaps could redefine the role of super heavy mechs on the battlefield and make them even more formidable adversaries. However, it's also essential to consider the potential drawbacks and challenges that come with such advancements. As super heavy mechs become more powerful and advanced, they'll likely become more expensive to produce and maintain. This could lead to increased reliance on these powerful units, making their loss in battle even more devastating for a faction. Furthermore, the logistical and infrastructure demands of maintaining these titans will also increase, potentially straining resources and limiting their deployment to only the most critical engagements. Another potential challenge for the future of Super Heavy Mechs is the development of countermeasures specifically designed to target these behemoths. As these mechs become more prevalent and their impact on the battlefield grows, so too will the desire to develop weapons and tactics that can neutralize their advantages. We might see the emergence of advanced anti-mech infantry, specialized long-range artillery, or even specialized lighter mechs designed to exploit the weaknesses of super-heavy mechs. As a result, the future of super-heavy mechs could become an arms race, with factions striving to out-innovate one another to maintain an edge on the battlefield. In conclusion, super-heavy mechs are a fascinating and awe-inspiring part of the Battletech universe. These titans of the battlefield have the potential to turn the tide of battle in their favor, but they come with their own unique set of challenges and drawbacks. As the technology behind Super Heavy Mechs continues to advance, we can expect to see even more impressive and powerful machines entering the fray. However, this progress will likely be met with new countermeasures and tactics designed to keep these giants in check. 
The future of super heavy mechs is uncertain, but one thing is clear, they will continue to captivate the imaginations of Battletech fans for years to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of super heavy mechs. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more in-depth Battletech content. Until next time mech warriors, keep your fusion engines running and your gauss rifles charged. This is Redneck signing off.